Shakespeare's World of Imagination. This is the book which, quite a, quite a big book, I mean, 900 pages perhaps, or, or a hardback or something like that, which uh, I touted around various publishers and then decided, to, because I didn't, none of them were willing to take it up, um, and I was saying things like, you know, I think I've got to the stage where I need an editor to actually sort of help me shape the forms and, 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 and the thoughts and, and the, the final format of the book. But I couldn't find a publisher to do that. So having been to some talk at the Society of Authors where this business about print on demand and self-publishing was being talked about, um, I thought, well, why don't I divide up? In fact, I heard myself say to somebody, yeah, I can't find a publisher, so maybe I'll divide my book up into five small books and do them print on demand, which is what I did with the, with the first one. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think that the main title is very important, Shakespeare's World of Imagination. I mean, when we go to the theatre, it's our own imagination which takes on board the stuff which is being presented to us. You see, th theatre is not like cinema, where the, where the reality of the, of the scene and the characters is also much delineated for us on the big screen. In theatre, all these things are in our mind, because we know that this scenery is only cardboard and these actors on stage are only people pretending to be people. So the internal imagination is, is, is something which is a direct response to the theatre the, 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 the space and what is going on, uh, on on the stage. And in fact, this is one of Shakespeare's great themes. Mm. And there's this wonderful moment at the end of Midsummer Night's Dream when the mechanicals, the working men from Athens, are producing a play, uh, Pyramus and Thisbe, a, a, a Ovid love story drama in which uh, Pyramus kills himself for love because he thinks his, his, his Thisbe has been eaten by a lion. They perform this play to the Duke and his new wife. And Midsummer Night's Dream is about marriage and extraordinary things were probably first performed at somebody's wedding in a, in a country house somewhere. Um, and this ridiculous play put on by these ridiculous characters is a very entertaining, it's one of the great mm -hmm. comic scenes from Shakespeare. Mm -hmm. But the Duke's wife, Hippolyta, uh, having watched this play, she actually says something like, uh, well here it is, this is the silliest stuff that ever I heard, she says. And Theseus replies, the best in this kind are but shadows, and the worse are no worse if imagination mend them. Mm. And then Hippolyta says, it must be your imagination then and not theirs, because she thinks that these guys who are performing this play are people with no imagination at all. It may be, maybe that's what it, it's meant to be. But this is a wonderful line from Hippolyta, it must be your imagination and, and not theirs. One of the nice sidelines of this moment in this play is that Pepys, who wrote his diary in 16 something or other, went to see a performance of Midsummer Night's mm -hmm. Dream and he hated it and he thought it was absolutely ridiculous and he wrote in his diary, this is an absolutely stupid play and I'm never going to see it again and he's almost reflecting the very words which Hippolyta mm -hmm. says actually on stage. As for it being one of Shakespeare's great things, in his prologue to Henry V, uh, he talks about the audience having to use their imagination. He says, can this cockpit hold the vasty fields of France, because they're doing this play about the Battle of Agincourt, and how can we cram within this wooden O, this wooden building, the very casks that did affright the air at Agincourt? And then he says, let us ciphers to this great accompt on your imaginary forces play. Suppose within the girdle of these walls are now confined two mighty monasteries. And so he actually demands that our imagination shall fill out the characters and the actions which he is attempting to put on the stage.